Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Few True Heels podcast. I almost forgot the name of the podcast there for a second. That's not good. Yeah, let's not do that. I am Jacob Best in the Realm Hotter. This is Brian, Bryman Peacock. We are recording a very special pre-WrestleMania predictions podcast. Got any early predictions before we go over the card? Um, I don't think it's going to be as bad as last year's. Because if you remember, last year's was terrible. That's why we didn't even try to get tickets for yeah. this year. Which I think we're regretting now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm regretting us not going down there to be part of the, just the, the whole weekend. Yeah. Yeah, I think the uh, the broken hearty tailgate party, that sounds like a lot of fun. That could be a lot of fun. There's just so much going on. ROH shows, Takara shows, WCPW shows. Mega Ran did a concert at Gods and Monsters. I saw that. We're going there next time we go to Orlando. Gods and Monsters. Yes. And I was going to go there last time I was there. The place closed down. So I thought Gods and Monsters closed down. Turns out they just moved. Okay. So that place was at a marketplace. Yeah. Okay. Me and Kim were just looking up where that place was. Mm -hmm. And it's not in any kind of marketplace. And I was real confused. Yeah. Apparently... Artigon Marketplace. It was supposed to be an artsy thing. Yeah, and I regret not going, but it was only open for two years because it was an experimental thing. Oh. And they decided not to keep it open, even though apparently everyone who... I never heard a bad thing about it. Everyone seemed to love it. So that's why the website says we're back. Probably. I was wondering about that. I'll have to look that up then. Make sure it's still worth going to. They put a lot of, a lot of time and effort into that place. Yeah, apparently the... Especially... Their shop, their owners, were pretty pissed off. Yeah, I would imagine. I can't even imagine how much time and money and effort they put into that. And I think they only got like a week's notice or something. Jeez. Just imagine, you just took you forever to move your house. Imagine how much it would take to move all that stuff. I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> and I've moved stores before, too. Uh, and that sucks. Yeah, I've set up stores before, like retail stores. Yeah, I've done the terror. Not fun. And the move. I didn't do the Oh, well, stuff. I tore down J&C Games. Oh. Store yeah. I used to run. So. And that we, was tiny. We, yeah, I did Dollar Generals. Oh, right. That sucks. It's not That's fun. enough bullshit about us. Yeah. <laughs> no one cares about us. They want to know about... Oh, no, it's still us because it's still our bullshit opinions. Yeah. But, so WrestleMania, um, there are some rumors going into the show... A couple in particular I'm really interested in. Samoa Joe's not on the card. What the hell? That's... That is pretty surprising. So, what I think is going to happen, and you can see this all over the internet, all, a tons of other people agree, Triple H and Seth Rollins match, Triple H is going to have Samoa Joe, the Destroyer, come out and take out Rollins some way. And then we're going to hear the heartbeat. And Finn Balor's going to return. And that is going to be so badass. That would be pretty cool, yeah. And a lot of people are saying maybe they'll put Finn and Seth in a tag team. And people don't want that. I want that. I think that'd be badass. I hope... Now, I, I'm a little behind. I haven't seen what Seth has been doing. He's been injured. I know he's been injured. But has well, there's a reason he has the match... But I don't know what's leading up to it, really. Basically, Triple H screwed him a while back. Yeah. He was Triple H's uh, prodigy, his uh, his underling kind of thing. Yeah. And he ditched him for Joe and Kevin Owens. So yeah. Seth is now pissed off at him. Okay. And, uh... I knew most of that. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it's pretty much been the same story for a while, but Seth got hurt. So that's why the, the story was his, kind of on pause. Is this his first match back? Yeah. Because okay. he's injured right now. That's a little weird. Oh, yeah. That's well, actually, cool. he's supposedly still injured. So this last Monday, they they signed a contract saying that Triple H is not responsible if he, like, ruins Seth's career. Oh, okay. He made him sign a no something. He basically is saying he can't be held accountable. Right. Oh, what is that called? Like, no something. I know what you're talking about. I can't think of it either. 
Yeah, it's... I think it's a hold no harm contract is basically what it's called. Right. And it's saying that if somehow Seth, his career is ruined, you know, Triple H does something terrible to him, uh, he can't sue the WWE, Triple H, his wife, that kind of thing. Right. Samoa Joe does something terrible to him. Right. They're calling it an unsanctioned match. Huh. And I don't remember the last time we had one of those in WWE. Me, uh, me either. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Has there ever been another one? Uh, Mick Foley and The Rock. Maybe. I don't. I'm not sure. Yeah, there's been other ones. Yeah, like an open arena. Well, I guess that's an open arena match. Oh, the empty arena match. Empty arena match. Yeah, open arena. Yeah. <laughs> I was just. So every WrestleMania. Um, yeah. I was just thinking about the uh, the empty arena match the other day. Nothing in particular, but I was just thinking about it. I think they're boring. Yeah, I was kind of wondering why they were, why they would do it, what brought it about. I I know like storyline wise, I, I forget why, but right, that's weird. So, the other thing, there's some rumors here. And I guess these are not true. Stipulations could be added to the Intercontinental Championship match. That's not true. Uh, I'm seeing uh, JR is reported yes! to announce. We're going to go over that. Okay. Um. Yeah, other than that, that's really the only rumors. Joe doesn't have a match. Finn doesn't have a match. So uh, everything so far has been confirmed. Um, I don't think... AJ and Shane are in a, uh, like, no holds barred or anything. Right? I don't know. Tell me, internet. But. No, they're in a regular match. Okay. Which, okay, we'll go over that in a minute. Okay. Well, uh, I just, I was just added to a Orlando wrestling fan page on Facebook. Right. And someone was posting pictures that they were getting in the arena while they were setting it up. Yeah, there's a roller coaster. Yeah, I heard that on the radio this morning. Uh, yeah, a freaking roller coaster. I, I don't know if it's running or if you can ride it or whatever. But that's no, no, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, apparently there is a like a giant ring above the ring. Yeah, and it looks like it's almost flayed out. Yeah. Yeah. And someone said, oh, I know what Shane's jumping off of this right, year. Right, that's what, <laughs> yeah. So, okay, we're going to talk about that in a minute. Let's okay. go over a couple of the pre-WrestleMania things before we get into the card. Okay. all right. Supposedly, John Cena, Nikki Bella, Big Show, this is it for them. They're done after this. Really? The Big Show? Yeah. After all he just did to get into, like, That's kind of how I feel. That seems pretty unlikely. Now, my opinion on the big show, there are a lot of people who say, please retire when he's... Right. I don't feel that way at all. It's, well, no, because he took... He started taking it seriously, and he kind of got back on track. And I mean, to me, he's a really good... I guess you would call him enhancement talent. He's not a jobber. No. But he's a former champion. He's probably a triple... Yeah, he's a cr- triple crown champion. Um, and for this long, I'd hope so. Yeah. How long has he been working for? Like, I don't even know. I'll see if I can find it. And he's still, he can still go. Yeah. So I think the only reason Big Show would retire is for health reasons. Yeah. Which is possible. Maybe that's why he's cutting all this weight. Because he's starting to have some health problems. That would make sense, too. I also don't know how old he is. He was born in 72. I'm not going to do the math to figure out how old that is. But it, it, He's uh, he's getting up there. Um, I'm trying 45? To yeah, he's 45. Yeah. So I guess he's really not that old. No, but he's been wrestling for most of his life. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to find uh, his debut and stuff. Yeah, WCW, he was in before WB, he was the giant. He debuted in 1995. WCW, yeah. So um, 23 years? That's a long time. Yeah, that's longer than, like, his. he's 22. He's been doing it for 23 years. Yeah. Ooh. It's a long time to be 
beating the hell out of your body. Yeah. Yeah, it's a long, long time. Oh, but good for him for trying to get back on track with it. But yeah, I don't... I like I Big know. Show. I've always liked Big Show. When that music hits at... Whoa! That is... That is one of the awesome. best entrance musics ever. Yeah. Probably one of the longest running as well. Uh, Undertaker? The only one I can really think of other than... Ric Flair and Hulk Hogan, maybe? Yeah, yeah. But, that, yeah, that's about it. But even... I don't know when he got the, the Big Show music. I don't remember it when It would have been in the Attitude Era. Yeah. But, I mean, even the Undertaker has changed his when he was the American Badass. Yeah. He had Limp Biscuit. I yeah. Mean, yeah. Yeah, I think Big Show's great. He's, he's basically an enhancement talent. He does a very good job of it. He's there to put guys like Braun Strowman over. Right. But, uh, yeah, I hope he doesn't retire. Cena, I could, I'm could. i okay with him leaving for a while. He'll be back. Yeah, I don't think he's done. No. I don't think... He's gonna be like... Like Ric Flair. Yeah. Like, he's never gonna be done, done. Like, I think he's always gonna be around in one form or another. Oh shit, I was wrong about my prediction. What? I thought he was going to break Flair's record at WrestleMania. He's not even in the championship match. Oh. Huh. Next year, I'm predicting it. <laughs> we got to get cup holders. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, they're going to hear that all the time. I have mine on the carpet. Oh, okay, that would be smart. <laughs> I'll kick mine over. Uh, so yeah, and Nikki Bella. I really like Nikki Bella. So, but there's I, so many excellent women wrestlers right now. I do not like the Bellas. No. Not at all. Any particular reasons? Um, just sort of. I think they're just sort of boring. Like they come off as very. They're like the last of a dying breed of yes. the divas. Yes, but Nikki's gotten a lot better. I mean, yeah, she can wrestle, sort of, but it's... She's there. not on an Alexa Bliss or a Becky Lynch level. Right. And I just, um, on Monsters in the Morning, uh, Bailey was on there this morning, I think? Really? Yep. And uh, The Club was on there yesterday. Oh, those guys are a blast to listen to. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love all of their, like... I don't see them do a lot on the show. They don't let them do a lot. Because I don't... I don't watch the full show. I watch the Hulu ones. I don't know if they just get cut out or if they just don't do a lot. I mean, they just don't do a lot. But, yeah, I love I love their interviews. They, they seem like two of the coolest guys. And apparently, one, either both of them or one of them has a school in Georgia... And it's called, like, the Bulletproof Academy or something. Huh. Yeah, something like that they were talking about. Because they asked, you know, any advice for anyone that would want to get started in wrestling. Right. And, uh, actually, that morning show out of Orlando just started their own wrestling company as well, which is pretty interesting. But they do their shows on Wednesday, so. Right. Yeah. We not were, happening. Yeah. So the other big news is JR's coming back. Good old Jim Ross. I saw that they said he might be calling one match. Do you know what match that Lesnar might be? Lesnar and Goldberg is what I see. Which makes sense. I, if the match is long enough for him to call. <laughs> oh, that would be terrible. JR is back. Oh my god. Oh, the match is over. I will be so upset if we have another match like that at WrestleMania. We'll talk about that in a little yeah. bit. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, he's coming back. We don't know how often he's going to be used. He'll be on the network, I'm sure, doing stuff. That's probably what they're a big thing they're bringing him back for. Oh, I'm sure. So, we're going to go through the card now. Apparently, Al Roker is going to be special guest ring announcer. Who? Al Roker. The weatherman? What? Really? He was he was like a weatherman years and years ago. Now he's like super famous for some reason. I mean, he's got a great personality. I like when you type in Al Roker into Google, the next thing that comes up is Al Roker's wife. Ha! <laughs> okay. I know who this guy is, yeah. 
everyone like knows who he is. Yeah. So yeah, that that's a thing apparently. Okay. That's that's fine, I guess. So let's go through the card here. Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Who do you want to win? Um. Who's all involved in this? Oh, who knows? Uh, Big Show, Braun Strowman, Sami Zayn, anyone else that's not on the ma- on the card? <laughs> um. Jobber Rumble. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I guess I should say Jobber Rumble. <laughs> Um, I mean, you mentioned Sami Zayn. Yeah. I always like seeing him win. And usually, I mean, look at uh, Big Show won one year, because that makes sense. Yeah. I like the Big Show won that one year. Um, Baron Corbin won last year, and he's got pushed. Yeah. But usually this is to push a young talent. I, I don't can't remember who won the first year. I know Cesaro won. Oh, was it Cesaro, maybe? Pretty yeah, sure yeah, won. I think it was. That sounds right. You know how I know that? Huh. Because this figure came with a trophy. Nice. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I think it was Cesaro, Big Show, Corbin. Okay, yeah, that sounds right. So, yeah, Cesaro and Corbin are both young guys who have been pushed. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be for a young guy to get pushed. I don't think Sammy's been pushed enough. I agree. So, I would like to see him win. Um, almost... Any, even though it's the Andre the Giant Memorial, I would love to see any of the 205 guys. Oh, Dude. yeah. Oh, they could add some interesting stuff to that match. Yeah. Because there's not a lot of the 205 guys I don't like. Yeah. Or yeah, I don't I can't think of any. like to hate. Like Noam Dar. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I want to see Sammy win. I think there's a very strong chance that Braun Strowman's going to win or somebody like a Shinsuke Nakamura or a Ty Dillinger. Someone like an NXT guy? Yep. I w- if Nakamura wins, I would be, I, I'm going to be happy. Yeah. I, Nakamura is one of the best. But I think, I think they're already behind Nakamura a lot. Yeah. So, I mean, this, I mean, it would be a great push. And I'm not saying I don't want Nakamura to win, but. You think he doesn't need it? He might not need it. I, I won't be upset at all if he wins, but. I need to bring up things so we can record what all we think. So, who are you taking for this one? That, I'm gonna, I am going to go with, uh. Sammy Alright, I'm going to go Braun Strowman. You know, I don't... I don't think I... Braun Strowman is just one of those guys that I'm, like, super neutral on. Yeah. He's like, getting better. Like, if, if his match is turning out good, I'll watch it, but if it's not, I'll, I'll go do something else. He's going to be a really good replacement for Big Show and Mark Henry. Is he as big as they are, though? He doesn't seem like he is. He's just intimidatingly as big. I wouldn't want to be caught in the alley with Braun Strowman. I mean, no. scary he's, shit. I mean, he's big, but... Maybe just his character isn't as big as the rest of them to me. He, yeah, yeah. I can see that. The character is only going to get better. Yeah. Next match on the card is one I'm super excited for. I think they fucked up. Neville and Austin Aries. Why isn't this a ladder match? Oh. Yeah. Badass. No. You know why? You know why this is fucked up? Because it's on a kickoff show. Yeah, but uh, it doesn't surprise me. It doesn't surprise me either, but it still pisses me off. I think the 205 guys get... I think they need more recognition. Yeah, I agree. Um, they're getting there. I mean, it's better than nothing. Yeah. I mean, I, I didn't expect it to be main event or anything, but it's still a, a championship. The only one on that show. Yeah. I, I mean, I guess it's not on cable. But, but, being on the kickoff show, you might get more eyeballs on it. 
Because uh-huh. it's true, not on the pay per view. That's why the Andre the Giant Battle Royal is on the kickoff show. The kickoff show is free, right? Like, yes. Everybody can see that. Yes, it's on YouTube and everything. Okay. Oh, okay. It's not. I'm so it's kind of a win lose. Yeah. But uh, I got I gotta go with Aries on this one, cause I love Double A. A double. A double. That's right. Double A is Art Anderson. <laughs> And, a, and also a battery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A-double. Is he still doing the greatest man in the world? Greatest man that ever lived? Yeah, greatest yeah. man that ever lived. See, Dad, we both fucked him up. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want Neville. God, this fucking King Neville gimmick is so good. I love the King Neville. I'm going with Neville on this. Yeah? I want him to win. I love Austin Aries. Uh, I want Aries to get pushed, though. Me too, but I don't want... This is like a heel versus heel match. Sort of. I like it. <laughs> yeah. I don't... If Neville loses, it... He hasn't had the title for very long. No. So King Neville would be... He would have to go back to just being, Oh, I'm Neville. Let me sneak out the back of your Citrus Springs wrestling show. And not talk to anybody. <laughs> yeah, because that's what he did. Yeah. So, uh... I missed something on SmackDown, apparently. Apparently, this I did thing, too. This thing says Alexa Bliss versus all available women. Yeah. Well, what the hell? I don't know. She, <laughs> what she does that mean? To, I don't know if she pissed off everybody or... If she oh, does. my God. She needs to win. Yeah. Oh, I, I hope she wins. Now, there's a really, really good chance that uh, Naomi's going to win. She hasn't come back. There's a good chance that she's going to win. That's good. It's her hometown, yeah. which is awesome. Yeah, but yeah, and maybe but... that's why it says all available women. Yeah, it doesn't list her specifically. But I don't know. Alexa Bliss is still my favorite. Yeah, are you going so, with Bliss? Yeah, it's hard to. It's hard not to. Five feet of fury. I mean, I just I think that when you really want to push a champion. And you put them in these situations where it's them versus everyone. Like with Roman in the Royal Rumble. Right. He should have eliminated most of those people. Yeah. Because that's something you put on your, for lack of a better word, resume. Yeah. That That's incredible. If she beats every available woman on the roster, that's incredible. Yeah, that is a... That's something you brag about. That's, that's a hell of a notch on her belt. That's yeah, it is. Uh, the next match we got is a tag team championship triple threat ladder match. Jeez. I'm excited as hell for this. Can you add any more stipulations to this? Yeah, right? <laughs> uh, Gallows and Anderson versus Enzo and Cass versus Cesaro and Sheamus. This is going to be a cool match. I think it's, yeah, this is going to be a really fun match to watch. I think Enzo might die. Enzo, yes, yes. He's such a nice dude, too. I know. <laughs> He's another one we met. As yeah, and he was great. He was great to me. He's the one that t- told us that Neville probably snuck out the back. But that, that is so cool that we met Enzo. Now he's like at yeah. WrestleMania. I told him too. I was like, dude, you're you're going. Absolutely, you're going to the top. Yeah, and he did. I just read a story the other day. Enzo More almost got fired multiple times from NXT because really? he annoys people. I can see that. <laughs> That's not a surprise at all. Triple H and Dusty Rhodes protected him, apparently. <laughs> oh, good. It's good to know. Um, I want the club to win. Because I think the club need it. They need and it. And deserve it. They need... I've seen them with AJ Styles. They just need to do it. Yeah. They just need to just, draw, just add that one word. Add the word that's missing. They can't. They can't do it? No, I don't think they've, so. They've got the money. They can do whatever they want. They can buy the rights to the Bullet Club. Because I watched a thing on the... I'm pretty sure the rights would have to be for sale. Well, everything's for sale if you have enough money. I don't think Vince Killer cares that much. Probably not, but I do. Yeah. <laughs> so, but I did see a thing. It was on the Edge and Christian show. It was a clip I saw on YouTube. Call it, and it was a segment on their show. Will the WWE talk about it with AJ <laughs> Styles? And it was 
will the WWE talk about the stable that AJ Styles was a part of in another company in Japan? Right. And they said, yes, they will talk about the Bullet Club. Huh. And they did a whole little segment about the Bullet Club. Wow. Yeah, they showed the they showed pictures and videos, everything else. Huh. They, they went into not a whole lot of depth because it was a short little silly segment. Right. But then, uh, then the next part of will the WWE talk about it? Will they talk about the company that AJ Styles for wrestled for for years and basically put them on the map? ROH, TNA. And they said, no, they won't talk ah. about it. And then it showed a picture of Test and Albert. Oh. Was it Test yeah, okay. and Albert? Yep. TNA. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. And they were like, no, they won't talk about it. And showed that. That's fine. I was like, that's funny. Yeah, they don't have to talk about it. But they talked about Bullet Club. They acknowledged the Bullet Club. Because it's worth acknowledging. Well, of course. And, like, there's, like, Balor Club. Yeah. Like, I want that jacket. I want that damn jacket so bad. The leather one? Yeah. Yeah. It's badass. I don't like leather jackets. <laughs> if they come out with a hoodie, I'll get it. I'm sure they won't. No, I won't, because hoodies are expensive. <laughs> I don't know how much the jacket was, but I'd probably pay for it, because it was cool as hell. So who do you got in this match? I'm going with the club as well. Enzo and Big Cass are fun to watch, but... I don't know. I have a hard time rooting for them, especially when they're up against other people. And Shizaro. Shiz <laughs> no, yeah, Shizaro. <laughs> That's, That's a great name. That's their tag team name now, Shizaro. Uh, Cesaro and Sheamus. <laughs> you're welcome, guys, because I know yeah. you're listening to this. Uh, Cesaro, is, he's been one of my favorites for years. When he Back when he was Claudio Castagnoli. Yeah. Um... Sheamus, I saw a very long time ago at an FCW show. Right. First FCW show I went to. Um, I was like, wow, that guy's so white. Yeah. I was like, he's he's as white as I am. <laughs> That's crazy. Not quite. <laughs> Not quite, no. But you go out in the sun. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. But I was just like, that. I've never seen, like... I don't know. He impressed me in the FCW show. He is great. So, yeah. He, he is pretty good. So, I wouldn't mind seeing them win, but I'm going with the club. Yeah. And I really just want them and AJ to get together and go ahead and just add the one word that's missing. Everyone knows it needs to be there. <laughs> yeah, I on, think guys. Enzo and Cass and Cesaro and Sheamus just make it a solid match. Yeah. Because they are... Shoot, I remember when Enzo sucked. Yeah. Enzo was so bad in NXT. He, like, would, he was a great talker. Goddamn awful wrestler. Now he's yeah. good. Yeah, he's pretty good now. I mean, it's mostly goofy-ass spots of Cass throwing him. Yeah. Which is what I think is going to kill him. Probably. Cass is going to fucking don, or lawn dart him off the ladder. <laughs> I want to see that. Through tables. Through tables. Yeah. Or into the crowd. So he catches him. Oh, jeez. That'd be funny as hell. <laughs> like, whoop, he's gone. He killed Enzo. So, uh, the next match, Ambrose versus Corbin for the Intercontinental Championship. I've seen some of the build-up to this. Yeah, they've been trying to kill each other. Pretty interesting. Um, I, I want Ambrose to win. Yeah? Because I like the turn his character has taken. And he's, I think he's much more entertaining now than he used to be. Yeah. Uh, and Baron Corbin, he's still, to me, he's still missing something. I don't know what it is. I think it's a WrestleMania win. Maybe. I don't know. He's still missing something. I got Corbin. Just because, you know, I, I've been a Corbin fan since day one. When I think he's a badass. First time we saw Baron Corbin in NXT, I thought it was a local guy. He's oh, got yeah. Tattoos and stuff. <laughs> so I immediately got on Facebook trying to figure out who he was. Because I, I, I had just had this feeling he was a local guy. Right. No, 
Apparently not. Yeah, because I remember we thought that he was like a CM Punk replacement. Yeah. Which I don't think he is. I can just that's kind of a dumb way to think about it, just because he has tattoos. Yeah. Yeah, I got Corbin. You got Ambrose. Yeah. Next match on the card is another one I think will they will tear the roof down. It's Jericho and Owens. Yeah. This is feud has been a long time coming. But oh, definitely. But before we uh, before we talk about that, I just the their little interaction with the scarf. I you keep saying this tonight. I don't know what you're talking about. It was the I watched it. I had to watch it like ten times. We're gonna have to watch this later. Um, it's just in one of the hallways, Owens is just like sitting, uh, cross legged on just the box. Right. And Jericho walks up. He looks at him funny. Points at him, and Owens just looks up and goes, "Hi, Chris." And then uh, he's wearing Jericho's scarf. Oh. Uh. And Jericho's like, "That's my scarf." He's like, "Oh, what this? I found it." He's like, "That's my scarf. Why are you wearing? Why are you wearing my scarf?" He's like, "Oh, I just found it over there." He's like, "Give me my scarf back." And he's and Jericho's looking at it. He's like, "Oh, now it's all dirty." He's like, "You owe me money." It, this is a seven hundred dollars scarf. You only money for the dry cleaning. And Owens just gets up and reaches into his pocket and pulls out just this giant handful of change and just slowly drops it into Jericho's hands. And Jericho looks at the money. He's like, "What is this? A, it's a this is a button." And Owens just goes, "Oh, I need that." <laughs> and then Jericho's like, "Oh, this isn't enough. I need I need more. Give me another quarter." And Owens just reaches into his pocket. And he's like, I'm sorry, all I got is this Jolly Rancher. <laughs> what? What the hell? This is the weirdest, funniest thing I've seen. And then Owens walks off, and Jericho sniffs the scarf. He's like, ah, oh, it smells like soup. <laughs> what soup? I don't know, but it's so it's so funny and so Canadian for some reason. It's just, it's great. I mean, I, Jericho is one of the reasons I got into wrestling. Like, really into it. He's so... God damn good. It has been forever. And Kevin Owens is the reason I got back into wrestling. What we've talked about in previous podcasts, the feud with Kevin Owens and Davey Richards. Right. Um, I think it only makes sense for Kevin to win this. Yeah. I mean, Jericho can win and it'd be okay. But how long has Jericho had that title for? Not that long. A couple months. Yeah, it's all right. Jericho's well established. Yeah, that's the thing. He he's one of those guys that doesn't need a belt. Yeah. As I'm saying, it only makes sense for for uh, Owens to win here. Yep, I agree. So you're gonna take Owens? Yep, I'm always gonna take Owens. This is gonna be. It would take a lot for me not to take Owens. Yeah. Sami Zayn maybe. Sami Zayn was in a match with him. Yeah. Did you see the uh, Sami Zayn's WrestleMania while they're in Toronto? No. Apparently, him and Kevin tore the house down. Oh, really? And Sami like gave this long, heartfelt speech and made Kevin cry. Oh, I haven't. You sent that to me, and I never watched it. I, I mean, it's too. it's really good. Those two guys are incredible. Yeah, they are. I'm gonna go back and watch it. So the next match on the card, I am very, very, very excited for. The fatal four way between Sasha Banks, Nia Jax, Bailey, and, and Charlotte. Charlotte, yeah. Now, this is, I mean, last year we had was Charlotte, Sasha, and Becky. That was an incredible match. Yeah. This year, uh, with Nia being added and with Bailey finally being on the main roster and champion, that's awesome. That's what I'm excited about. I can't wait to see her entrance. Oh yeah, they got they have to give her more than just four of the waving arms. Yeah, there's probably gonna be a lot of them. That's gonna be pretty cool. Hell yeah, I'm excited for that. But uh, I'm not sure who wins this one because I mean Nia Jax could definitely use it. Yeah, I think she's still kind of she's still missing something. Like I said about Baron Corbin. Right. Just missing that it factor. Also, I don't like her promos. Yeah. She's very... She's, 
I just find her very boring. Yeah, she could use the again, like I said about Corbin, she could really use this. Like if she won the championship and just beat everybody for a long time, give her a good monster run. Yeah. Um, and then they have Oscar come up and beat her. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because or even better that. yet, Oscar come up and lose to her. Because that would really cement Naya. Yeah, but she has to be better. She has to. It has to be believable. I don't believe. Yeah, Naya could be. I don't believe Naya can be anybody. In the ring, she's boring as well. She's all right. She's a good monster, I think. She, her, I don't know. I don't know. I just think she's boring. I mean, I'm having a hard time disagreeing with you. Yeah. <laughs> to be perfectly yeah. honest. I mean, at least Corbin has cool moves and the cool interest music and cool yeah. personality. I think he has and, more going for him than yeah. she does. She has a very boring personality. Um, I haven't seen any moves that are very impressive. I can't think of any off the top of my head. Yeah. But, uh, and Charlotte, uh, she could use it, but not as much as the others. Like, she, I feel... How many, how many times has she had this belt on? I don't freaking know. Her and Sha Sasha both have had it quite a few times. She already almost tied with her dad. <laughs> yeah, probably. So, I think it would be... Who do you got to win? Bailey. Yeah? yeah? Okay. I think giving Charlotte the belt again is just kind of like a cop out almost. Like, all right, Charlotte won again. Now she's gonna, you know, whoever pinned her. Now she's gonna have a feud with them. She's gonna lose it with them. Win it back a few times. Yeah. Probably gonna be Sasha Banks again. No, I think that whole round would just be boring to do all over again. Yeah. I agree. Or, that's. I think that's probably why it's the most likely thing. <laughs> yeah. So that's probably what's gonna happen. God, I love the idea of Bailey winning at Mania. Yeah. But I also love the idea of Sasha winning at Mania, because you know I love Sasha Banks. Yeah. I've never been her biggest fan, but she's okay. The boss is incredible. I was a fan of hers from day one. I know. She's so good. See, I got Sasha. I want Sasha to win so bad. She should have won last year. Who won last year? Charlotte, right? I'm sure. And she Pretty probably sure. lost it on Raw. I mean, Gay got it back to the next these things. <laughs> I used to. Back in the day, I would have to be able to tell you who won when and how. But I can tell you all kinds of random shit. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I I got Sasha, you got Bailey. Oh yeah, I think two solid picks. I don't see Nia winning this. I I hope not. She still she needs to have a good showing at Mania though. Yeah, like if she wins us over, that's a good showing for her to win the belt in two or three pay per views. Yeah, I don't think she's a total loss, but also we did we see her in NXT? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because she had some squash matches in NXT. Oh, that's I know for a fact she at least came out and did the whole Kevin Owens thing where Kevin came out during a boring match and annihilated everybody. She did that as well. Oh, man. Man, apparently it didn't really work well for her, at least for me. So, so the next match on the card is, I think, going to be a good one. Uh, is Cena and Nikki versus Maurice and The Miz. I think they're going to put on a really good match. Um, yeah, it'll be entertaining. Uh, this, I see here that this is the uh, the match that we will have Al Roker as the special guest. Oh, really? The announcer, yes. Okay. I don't know what his involvement with all the four of them are, but... I mean, Mania always has fairly random... Celebrity cameos. Yeah. Do we want to talk about the big one that's rumored now or bring it up later? I don't know shit about this. What? Oh, I've heard rumors for the longest time that uh, I th The Rock will be there. 
Probably. But there's a lot of rumors going around that there's going to be something with him and Vin Diesel. Because really, Fate, Fate of the Furious comes out soon. Holy they're, shit, really? They're both in Orlando <laughs> right now. Oh my god. And, uh, yeah, Fate of the Furious comes out, like, next week or something. So, yeah, there, I've heard a lot of rumors about something going on between those two. Cause something goes on between them in the movie, too, apparently. And, which that uh, Yeah, it's the family splitting up. Yeah. And they've had beef with each other in real life. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Huh. That could be interesting. Yeah, but that's the big, big rumor. I'm going to be real fucking disappointed if you're wrong. I'm probably wrong. <laughs> I hope so. But that's just that's what I've heard. So yeah, back to, to uh, the, the inter intergender tag team match. And they're not even calling it that, I don't think. No, there's no title stipulation. At least from what I'm saying. Well, no, no title stipulation, but they always call it intergender. Right. Well, the stipulation, like there's the triple threat yeah. ladder on the other. It, the, at least what I'm looking at doesn't show any title for the match or anything. No, but uh, I think the, the Miz and Maurice win this. Because the Miz is on such a damn streak right now, I can see that. Is Cena and Nikki leaving, which is most likely a thing that's going to happen? Yeah. I guess uh, Cena's going to propose to Nikki at WrestleMania, which is like a weird rumor that's going around. Huh. I, if Cena was going to do this, we wouldn't know about it. Is how I feel. Right. But at the same time. Maybe this is good promotion. Either that or, like, in real life he's already proposed, but they're going to yeah. win the match, and then isn't there something, like, on Total Divas about how he doesn't want to get married? Yes, he does not want to get married again because he went through a really bad divorce. Oh, I didn't know he was married before. Yeah, he was, and he lost a lot. Um, yeah, I can see, so I can see them winning, and then... Them doing that and then running off and being gone for a year or so. Or yeah. However, until they want to come back. Side note. The fuck is this? That is a ivory build woodpecker. Oh. Toy. For, the, All right. for the people who <laughs> aren't in the room with us. I just I keep looking at it on the table and I'm like, what is that? Is it a Final Fantasy thing? Is it a Dungeons and Dragons thing? I don't, I don't understand. Funny thing about that. My daughter got that in a uh, Kinder Egg. Oh. Which, uh, little chocolate toy that you open up and it's got a plastic. I thought they didn't sell those in America. Well, we got the Americanized version. I forget right. what they call them here, but they're like bear shaped. And you open it up, there's a little toy inside. And the ones we have here have like wildlife toys and huh. it's got a little fact about them. And I specifically saved that for my move. Because there's an episode of Little Einsteins, and she knows the whole song, and she sings it all the time. And so that bird's name is Tapper, and they're trying to find his friend. And I'm not going to sing the song. But if we didn't just put her to bed, I'd have her sing the song. It works. Well. So Tapper. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm glad we got that out now, of the way. Now that's all cleared up. Now, now that my mind is clear... <clears throat> Um, this is also, to get back to the, the tag match, this is also supposedly going to be the finale to Total Divas. Bellas. Total Bellas. There's going to be, you know, this, them losing the match, and oh, it's so sad, and then John proposes. That'll be like the season finale, series finale, whatever. Oh. Um, so that's okay. possible, because they have been doing some of these... Uh, storyline matches centered around these shows, Total Divas and Total Bellas. It's gonna be a pain in the ass for the writers, but yeah, okay. I think it's a pain in the ass for creative. Yeah. yeah. It's like, wait, we have to put this match on for a totally different show? What right. the hell? Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Now we get into the real meat of the thing. Shane McMahon versus AJ Styles, the phenomenal one. Yeah, this is going to be good. Who did you have for the last match? Oh, the last one? I'm going to go John Cena. Just because I don't like the Miz. That's and crazy. I, just, I have a hard time thinking Cena losing at WrestleMania. He's probably that, That's other people have said that. He may have lost at WrestleMania before, but... Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, he's lost to The Rock. Oh. 
See? Random shit I can tell you. <laughs> but yeah, the next one, uh, Shane McMahon versus AJ Styles, is going to be... I think that's going to be pretty intense. Yeah, it's going to be... They're going to beat the hell out of each other. Yeah, sadly, I don't think Shane McMahon can put on a very technical match. No. Worst but, punches in the business. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um... Oh, speaking of punches, I watched on fight, the Fight TV app. Right. Al Snow has a series on there, and it's like an in the ring style, right. like teaching series. And there was a whole episode, and they're short episodes, but a whole episode on why punches are illegal to do in a match. So it's the open hand. Right. But the reason that they're illegal in air quotes in a match is because they are the fakest thing that they do oh okay because if you've ever gotten punched in the face yeah it's you knocked out yeah it's it, it doesn't go the way it does yeah watch an MMA way. match yeah that's why punches are once again in air quotes yeah illegal because they're the fakest thing that they do I still want to know how some of these guys do super kicks I know you said it's slapping the leg yeah some of these fuckers don't do that. It could be really quick. Or it could be somewhere else, too. I don't even know. Someone tell me. <laughs> I want to know. Young Bucks, are you listening? Tell me. But yeah, this match... I think uh, Shane might win. And that would be upsetting. Yeah. AJ's gonna win. I don't know. I can see Shane winning. I want I'm taking AJ. AJ. I want AJ to win, uh, but I could definitely see Shane winning. You taking Shane? Oh uh, no, I'm going to take AJ. Okay. <laughs> or I can just see Shane jumping off that extra ring on top of their yeah setup, and then just you know that's like a hundred and some foot drop probably. So I don't know if he'd survive. <laughs> it doesn't matter how many announcer tables he goes through. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And no matter how many cushions are at the bottom of it. Yeah. So yeah, I think AJ wins this one. But I think AJ really carries the match. Oh, definitely. What's gonna, most likely going to happen. Yeah. So the next match is Triple H, Seth Rollins, unsanctioned match. This is pretty interesting. Yeah. Now, I'm thinking that since it's non-sanctioned, maybe they're going to go also with that there's no rules. Yeah. So that's when uh, your prediction about... Uh, Samoa Joe and Finn Balor. Yeah. Yeah. Coming out. And if Owens and Jericho didn't have a match right before this almost, I could see them joining in in some of the pictures we've seen from house shows. Yeah. Where it's oh, yeah. Triple H, Samoa Joe, Kevin Owens versus Balor, Joe, and... Sammy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well... You can easily replace Sammy with Seth. Yeah. I mean, it could still happen. It could. It could. It'd be interesting to see. But uh, I think for the same reason that you picked Cena winning at Mania, <laughs> I think Triple H is going to win. I do too, because Triple H always wins. Actually, you know what? No one's going to win. No, I can't, you can't just be having disqualification. Yeah, no one's going to win. No one's going to win. I think there's not going to be any kind of pinfall or anything. It could just... I think it's just going to end with someone being severely injured. Rollins. And, uh... Right. Yeah, that's it. I can see that. So you think Triple H, Rollins, or nobody? Um, nobody is a good idea, but I'm going to go with Triple H. He, yeah, Triple H. I hate saying that, man. Me too. I hate it. Love Seth freaking Rollins. Seth has got to make a big comeback. Yeah. And become champion again. And this could be it, but who knows. I'm skeptical about that one. I don't yeah. know. The next match is probably one of the most important for the WWE on the card, I think. That's Undertaker versus Roman Reigns. 
Now, the reason I say that is because Roman is the future of the company. There's no doubt about that. Undertaker is the past. Right. So there's got to be some torch passing here. I think Roman takes over this whole my yard gimmick. Yeah. And like I said before on previous episodes, Roman Reigns wins because they hate us. <laughs> I think Roman Reigns wins so that we like him. I think he turns heel. Is it we? I hope. I think so. this is why he hasn't turned heel yet because they wanted him to turn heel against Taker. I think he he should beat the Undertaker to a pulp. Just bloody him up, beat the hell out of him, and we don't see him maybe ever. Yeah. He kills the dead man, finally puts him to rest. I mean, I can't think of anybody else on the card except Cena that would deserve something like this. Yeah. Uh, maybe Finn Balor. I, I do want to see that match. It's like... Back to the Shane McMahon AJ Styles match. It won't be the most technical match. No. Even though Undertaker Undertaker can get pretty pretty technical sometimes. Yeah. Um, That's only better than Shane. Yeah. Yeah. But like gimmick wise, um, the Undertaker versus the Dead Man versus the Demon. Yeah. That's. Storyline wise, yeah, that's just cool. That's perfect. That's he, like Bray versus the Undertaker, which was cool. Yeah. And I don't know if I... I did see that, didn't I? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Because I, I know I, I wanted to see that. Do you remember Bray did the whole creepy spider thing? Right. Take her set up and Bray looks scared as hell. Yeah, okay, I remember That now. was such a cool moment. Yeah, because the day I saw Bray Wyatt, I wanted him to fight the other Yes, guy. absolutely. So, I'm going to take Roman. I, st- I think The Undertaker's going to win. I want Roman to win and then brag about this the way Paul Heyman and Brock Lesnar did. Yeah. And then Roman goes on to just annihilate everyone. And Roman should go on a winning streak. Um, and just brag, 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 brag. I don't think that's going to make anyone like him. Even the people who like But he'll heels. finally be a heel. Yeah, but even people who like heels, I don't Unless he doesn't perfectly and if Mike's skills aren't that good no he definitely needs yeah but I also feel like they're holding him back I hope so because they obviously want him for something he's had a couple of good promos yeah I mean and I I actually I don't hate him I want to like him I love his moveset I love him I love watching him in the ring I really don't understand why he still has the best oh just cause <laughs> Like that, that, I think that's one thing that really throws me off. Just yeah, I think it's just because cause it makes them a bit different. It is a little different. Not, I'm all for different, but I don't, I don't know. The vest and just like the baggy pants, like the ca- tactical style boots. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He still needs to come out from the crowd because that's cool. Is he going to come out from the crowd at Mania? That's a big crowd. That is a big crowd. Huh. I, I doubt it. Uh, uh, we'll see. On the radio, I heard them talking about someone that they knew that paid $1,000 for a ramp side ticket. Yeah. But they saw pictures of the ramp, and they wanted the ramp seat so they could high-five them, front row ramp. Right. The ramp is so tall that there's there's no way. So, yeah, right. Yeah. And it's probably so far away from the ramp. Probably. And I guess this person is like super pissed. They paid a thousand dollars for, for the tickets. Huh. Well, well, should have researched the tickets. Yep. So who do you got this one, Taker? Yeah, I hope Taker wins. I could see him winning the winning. It makes sense what you said, but I, I just want Taker to win. Yeah. But also, since he lost, I don't know. Did he beat? Did he beat Bray Wyatt? Taker. Yeah. Yeah. I thought so. See? I know shit. <laughs> the next match, speaking of Bray Wyatt, is WWE Champion Bray Wyatt, that's nice to say, versus Randy Orton. This is going to be good. Yeah. 
I'm ex- I'm actually excited for this one. And you're not a big Randy Orton fan. No, I've always hated him. <laughs> Until he set uh set the house on fire. Dude, that image of him setting the house on fire is yeah. fucking cool. Yeah. That's gonna go down as an all time great in wrestling. Oh yeah. I remember seeing I think I was I was falling asleep because obviously SmackDown comes on late, and uh, I saw the thumbnail on, on YouTube and I went, "What the <laughs> fuck?" <laughs> yeah, because I was like the last seconds of the episode. Yeah, like, uh, why is there fire? Why is Randy Orton standing in front of it like a goddamn psychopath? I heard about it on a po- on a different podcast, so I was like, I have to see this right now. Yeah. So I watched the whole episode of SmackDown, which I don't usually do. And then this last week, well, the week a week after that, Bray went to the house and mm-hmm. bathed himself in Sister Abigail. That's why he burned the house down. Yeah, Sister Abigail. Sister Abigail's power was there. Mm-hmm. Then Bray went back there and just rubbed dirt on him, the ashes supposedly of uh, Sister Abigail and absorbed her power. Mm-hmm. I fucking love this story. <laughs> And Randy went back the week after and used this crucifix, this thing that Bray Wyatt's been using, this weird crucifix-looking thing, and, like, plunge it into the ground to supposedly destroy Sister Abigail, maybe, I think? Huh. So, I don't know. I love the idea of Bray Wyatt has, like, supernatural powers like The Undertaker. This could be a damn movie. It should be! Like, I would love to see them do... Not just, like, a, like a DVD of the... Of the run of the matches and the, right. the promos, but add more yeah material to absolutely. It. And I think that would make a great DVD. I would pay for that. I wish they would have gone. This would have been going on longer than it has, and just go full ham on this thing. Yeah, I, I do. I do wish this went on longer, and it might still go on longer. It might, but it's weird that Rus- just it's weird that WrestleMania happens in the middle of it. Yeah. Unless it continues on to the next one, but that's that's kind of a long time. They might do it. They might. Oh, wait, the next Mania? Yeah. Well, that's unlikely. Yeah. People don't have that kind of attention span. <laughs> What's that? What's over there? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I would I would really love to see, like, a whole, just a whole, like, couple hour, like, two hour DVD of just yeah. the matches, the stuff leading up to the matches, and add a little more in between. You remember that really good song they had during Taker and uh, Bray's match? It was a Shaman Tarvis song. You probably know it if you heard it. It was like during their promo. I would pro- kind of. They finally just released it two years later. Oh, really? Yeah, because Shaman Tarvis has been saying forever, like, it's not ours. WWE owns it. We can't release it. Oh, God. Okay. And they finally released it on, like, Uncaged 2 or something, some album. Oh. It's a really great song. I love Shaman Tarvis. But uh, who do you got in this, Wyatt or Orton? Um, I'm going with Wyatt because I really want him to hold that title. Yeah, I feel like he can hold it for quite a while. I like him having it too. Yeah, and he could have. The good thing is, is he can make a story with anybody really interesting because him and it, Bray Wyatt himself is a very interesting character. Yeah, absolutely. He's got, like, the best promos. Oh, hands down. Him and, I would say, don't get upset here, <laughs> The Miz have the best promos. Oh. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's he's good at what he does, so. Like, if I really, really hate somebody, like yeah. The Miz, I just know that they're doing their job. That, yeah, that absolutely. Good. Like, if I like, if I really like a heel, like, they're just... It's kind of like that guy we saw at NXT, uh, Riddick Moss, I think. Yeah. He was in front of us for like 30 seconds. They were like, fuck this guy. Yeah. <laughs> like, you are obnoxious. Stop. The guy with the ponytail, right? Yes. Yeah. That was yeah. obnoxious. He was, yeah. He was so bad. Like, I hated him so much. I say he's a bit much, and I say that the best way. Yeah. <laughs> so. Of, <laughs> yeah, keep, just kidding. I don't know what I was about to say. What? I'm not going to. Okay. I'll, I'll get in trouble. So, I, I'm typing out the matches for those listening. No one's watching, so you're the only ones listening. <laughs> I'm typing out the matches and, like, who we're picking so I can yeah. post them online later. I typed in Goldberg. Goldberg. <laughs> I really want that to be his name now. Goldberg. 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 
So the next, the final match, right? Yeah. Skip? Yeah. Main event. I have never wanted Brock Lesnar to win in a match so bad. All right, Brock Lesnar wins. All right, moving on. Because that that's about as quick as the uh, oh yeah match is gonna be. It so can't all be. together, I think WrestleMania is gonna be great. I think, <laughs> but yeah, I do. I want Lesnar to win because I'm just so pissed off at Goldberg right now. I think something happens early on in the match where Brock makes it to where uh, Goldberg can't use the spear or the jackhammer, like puts him in the kimura and breaks his arm. I think that would be a cool match if Goldberg went through the whole thing with a broken arm. Yeah. I mean, that would make it last more than three seconds. Yeah. And he can't do what Kevin did, because Kevin still got wrecked as soon as he got in the ring. That's stupid. If this match ends quickly, and I don't think it will, because I think Brock knows now. Brock knows I can't let this shit happen again. Right. Yeah, and this happened before he beat Brock in, what, like, two seconds or something. Yeah. Something dumb. I think Brock comes out and he's ready and he strikes first. And he strikes hard. And hurts Goldberg. I mean, all he's got to do is put a locker in front of Goldberg and, that, and then he's going to hurt him. Yeah. That That's Lesnar, Goldberg's fucking weakness, apparently. Lesnar carries his big ass locker down. <laughs> Just because Lesnar will come out first. Because he's yeah. the challenger. You and say he, that, because, but people, champions have come out first. It doesn't really make any sense. But Lesnar just puts that locker right there at the end of the ramp. Goldberg comes down all big and bad. He's got to hit it. <laughs> and just boom, just out. Lesnar pulls him into the Ooh ring. Oh, my God. And, um, it's still super quick, but much more entertaining than Spear Jackhammer Pin. Or Gilbert comes out and does all that just, just oh, to piss Goldberg man. off. I would love to see... Lesnar Gilbert WrestleMania twenty uh, WrestleMania thirty. <laughs> like you were reversing time. Oh, twenty thirty. Go back in time. Gilbert Lesnar would be a more entertaining match than this one might be. <laughs> I want I want Brock to win, hands down. I am one hundred and ten percent rooting for Brock Lesnar. Yeah, because Gilbert is just Yeah, I'm not even like I don't dislike Brock. I think he's been one of the best part timers around just because he's so a interesting in the ring and some of the feuds he's had has been really interesting yeah, um, especially the one with the one legged like guy I'm talking about <laughs> now <laughs> Zach Gallon is that his name that sounds right yeah. but uh and Goldberg I don't know I was never a WCW guy Goldberg's just always struck me as boring I still think people should chant right back Right back at Goldberg. Yeah. He is boring. And so that chant, I always thought that chant was like... Boring. Well, no, I thought, like, just because it's like a droning... Yeah. I thought it was like an anti-Goldberg thing. Like, it's it not... It doesn't sound very upbeat or like... Right. Like, it's not like, uh, Joe is gonna kill you. Yeah, it's not. it doesn't sound positive at all. I always thought the Goldberg. I think it goes along with his music. I don't think so. That was wild. (laughs) That's how his music should go. (laughs) I'll just do it live. There we go. We're doing it live! I feel like we missed a match. Uh, no, I don't think we did. Uh, Probably because we had to take that break in the middle there. That no one knows about until now. Where is the SmackDown Tag Team Championship? Uh, on their shoulders. Is this goddamn list not updated? Which one? Are you on CBS Sports? Yep. <laughs> Hold on, we're finding out. I'm going to be pissed if... Chad Gable and uh, and Jason Jordan don't get a match. Look at this. Someone even posted, is there a SmackDown Tag Team Championship match? I don't know. Maybe not. Oh. 
Usos are in the giant Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Wow. I mean, it's a little weird that you know every other title is. Well, regardless, the Usos are the champions now. I do not like the Usos. I still don't like them now that they're like thugs or whatever the hell they are. I love the Usos before. I didn't hate them before, but they got old. Really? Just the whole warrior thing every week and just doing the same moves, and they never did anything different. Yeah, their paint was different sometimes. Yeah, sure. <laughs> American Alpha, on the other hand, badasses. And this also could have... I think we're still going to get a match. We're still going to get a match with these guys. They just haven't announced it because they're dumb. Could it's be. a two-hour fucking pre-show. Yeah. Put it on there. Kurt Angle's not coming out for pre-show. Maybe, um... Jelton Benjamin's cleared now, supposedly, so... Oh, really? Yeah. I just saw him somewhere. Where is he? I don't know. Who did you have for Goldberg versus Lesnar? Oh, uh, Lesnar, I guess. <laughs> You're so enthusiastic. I know. Well, I mean, I think that pretty much wraps it up. That exactly. Yeah, Lesnar. <laughs> That's how WrestleMania is going to end this year. Yeah. Like, well, he won. Yeah, that's how, <laughs> that's how the main event's going to go. I mean. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. So. I uh, still think this is going to be better than last year. Yeah, absolutely. Last year was uh, pretty boring. But. I don't even remember most of it. I just remember Ambrose and Lesnar having that really, really dumb fucking hardcore match. Oh, yeah. And Lance being super upset. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was just bad. He was, yeah. It was just a bad show. Yeah. I mean, it was so bad we stopped watching wrestling for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, we talked about that in the last podcast. Yeah. Which you can listen to on futurevillains.com, on iTunes, hopefully soon on Stitcher, SoundCloud, YouTube. YouTube, if I remember. <laughs> I forgot to put the last episode up for a few days. Yeah. It's up now. It's okay. It's but, uh, yeah, we will be recording a episode right after WrestleMania on how pissed off... I mean, uh, our reactions to it. Uh, <laughs> I hope we're not pissed off. I don't think we will be. It's a pretty solid card. Yeah. yeah I, With a whimper okay. at the end. Yeah. Maybe. I still... I wish there was a way that we were able to watch Supercard of Honor, but I don't from Ring of Honor. That's taking place tomorrow. Yeah. But I don't even think that's being recorded. No idea. That's an insane card. Yeah. Oh, that was the other thing we didn't talk about was uh, the Hardys might show up, supposedly. Oh, yeah. Because they're having their broken Hardys tailgate party. Within walking distance yeah. of Camping World Stadium. Can you imagine being at their party and they're there and all of a sudden it's like, Hey, uh, where'd uh, Matt and Jeff go? Yeah, <laughs> and then all of a sudden they're on... Boom, boom, the... boom. Do, 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 do. I don't know how the fuck their music went. <laughs> oh, man. Will you be that. upset if they go back to the original Hardys? No. No? No. They got rid of the whole broken Hardy thing? Yeah, because I don't get it. It's so <laughs> weird. That's true. I'm. I cannot argue with you. Like I, I, I like weird creative stuff, and uh, I, I guess it's something that they really want to do because they're really sticking with it. But um, if they went back to old, like old Hardy Boys, yeah, yeah. I mean, that would be. I'd be excited. Man, really the Hardy happy. Boys versus the Club. I would l love to see that. Yeah. That'd be good. It would be good. The Hardys versus the Revival. That'd be pretty good too. Say yeah. I think that's what the name of the song says. Right? Is it Hell Yeah? I think it's Say Yeah. Say Yeah! 
I'm sure some of her owns hell, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Good for point. all of his life. Fair enough. But I'm, I'm still upset that we're not going to get to see the Hardys versus the Young Bucks. We'll see it. I'm sure it'll be recorded or something. It's got to be. I hope so. I hope so. I mean, it'll be such a good show. But, uh, I think that's pretty much it for WrestleMania. I'm going to try and talk to uh, our good friend Jeremy Brooks, who's going to be down there, see if he'll get us some exclusive pictures. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, we need to get him to do that. Because he's going to be out and about. Yeah. Yeah, I wish we can get him in on... We'll get him in on... He's going to be in on a podcast. Yeah. We have to get him in on a podcast. Yeah, we got a few people we're going to get in. He just so happens to be... I think he lives in Orlando right now. Yeah. He's yeah. coaching or something. Yeah. So. Shout out to Brooks. Hey, Brooks. Go home, Brooks. Still owe me a trip to Sonny's. <laughs> Sonny's? Yeah. I, I wouldn't own up to that. Something... I don't remember what exactly we did, but we did something in the wrestling school... And like the last that was forever ago. He still owes you from then. You're not yeah. getting it. Oh, I'll, I'll <laughs> get it one day. I'll never let him forget it. So yeah, I think that's it for WrestleMania. Uh, we'll see you in the next episode when we record our reactions. But again, go check out futurevillains.com. Check out Best in the Realm on YouTube. That's me. That's my gaming channel. You can find all that stuff at bestinrealm.com. Though Brian's going to have some DIY stuff up there. Our podcast is available on iTunes, on SoundCloud, soon on Stitcher. Thank you for listening. Let us know how you feel about it. How you feel about us. You can find me on Twitter at Best in the Realm. Do you have a Twitter yet? Um, Get on that shit. I have a Twitter. Do you know what it is? Uh, I, know. <laughs> I, it's, I believe it's Nerdy Bry Man. But let me double check. Yeah, you can find me at, at Best in the Realm or you can do at Future Villains. Which is kind of our joint account for the website. And most of my... Also on Instagram. Xbox Live. No, I'm not on Xbox Live. That's a different gamer tag. All my YouTube stuff usually ends up on uh, our Few True Villains website. But uh, my Twitter is at Bryman25. Okay. Couldn't get just, just at Bryman. No, it had to be That sucks. Back, which was my street hockey number, if it is on there. <laughs> nope. And what <laughs> was my last tweet? Since we're talking about Twitter. Yeah. Uh, I use Twitter all the time. YouTube. There's a lot of YouTube stuff. But my last actual tweet was... Just stuff I added on YouTube. Oh! Get on that. So I use it anymore. So, no one's listening anymore. So we're just gonna, yeah, let's stop. <laughs>